Chosen One, a masterpiece. <laughs> Hi everyone. So I'm a tech deal maker and founder sparing partner. So I've been a banker for the last 14 years, advising mostly tech entrepreneurs on really their growth journey towards their exit. So to give you some example, you've had Ipovades, Intercloud, Biglot, Fox Intelligence, really to name a few. I've been very lucky um, over the last basically 10 years. Uh, to be living hyper growth story from the inside, working for Criteo and Believe, both on their external growth and financing strategy, which usually include debt, IPO, equity. Uh, and those solutions obviously have been very relevant in multiple growth stories we've been seeing. What has been driving my interest over the last decade is really eagerness to learn new models, aggregate different visions, and seeing how tech can really transform the day-to-day -day life of professionals and consumers. GP Boulan is an investment bank, is in few words, a trusted advisor and investor for tech entrepreneurs. So what really, I would say, uh, is in that definition is that if I want to summarize it in a couple of words, it's the entrepreneur clock. It's a concept we've introduced that follows the virtuous circle from an inception of a company towards the exit, including the reinvestment of the proceeds in the ecosystem. So what does that mean? It's actually a mission that GP Boulan defined 20 years ago to help entrepreneurs during their various strategic options until their exit. And we've been active and we're still active on each of those steps via our events. We have a fund, so a billion under management, and we have an advisory role that has been basically successful in the US and in Europe and in Asia on financing and exit. And that has been a global strategy that we're operating very within our 12 or 13 offices. If I want to summarize it, it's ultimate neutral and trustworthy sparing partner. What does that mean? Having been on both sides of the discussion, within the company and outside, I formed a clear view on the importance of that relationship. The CEO role, and that will ring a bell to a lot of CEOs and entrepreneurs, is very lonely. So it's, he's lives, he or she lives, a continuous roller coaster at all levels. And all of them face the same challenges on HR, finance, roadmap, board management, communication, marketing, etc. The role of the advisor is to be the go-to person on all aspects, and not only a facilitator for some specific milestones. And that is really done successfully if we can do it in a neutral and trustworthy way. And those are the main attributes from my perspective for a long lasting relationship with CEOs. Yeah. So one word, trust. Uh, if you look at the scale up word, a CEO has continuously to shift uh, between short-term thinking and long-term strategy. Uh, what does that mean in a way is that when you look at long-term thinking, you need to anticipate, you need to think about clear milestones of funding, how your market is changing, how competition is being established, what are the liquidity events that you owe to your shareholders, how's the hiring or how's the vision being renewed. And for that, you need an advisor that not only comes at specific moment when you call that advisor, but you need an advisor that creates value and feeds the top management and the CEO continuously with new ideas. And again, that role or our role is not simply to execute ideas that are coming from the board, so top-down ideas, but also to participate actively to the chain of thought and being able to learn from various examples and then bring the right solution at the right time.
the, the obvious is anticipate and focus. And for us, those are the most important part. But I would say another element that is key for first time CEOs is also to learn how to say no to some elements, no to the product, no to the team, no to some hirings, et cetera, et cetera. So, but to start with one statement that is important for us is that it's definitely okay to make sure that the, the CEO, whether it's the first time or not first time, is able to do mistakes, learn from the mistakes he or she does, and then I would say find the right solution to move to the second stage. Having said that, every mistake or every failure delays a little bit the roadmap. So learning from others' mistake or making sure that at least learning from some of uh, the, the past experiences of the entrepreneurs and advisors you have on board is an opportunity to grow faster and wiser. First time CEOs, I would say in, in, in usually tend to be less risk takers, but at the same time have a steep learning curve they need to evolve on. Hence, the role of an advisor is to participate to the education of those CEOs, help them anticipate, prepare the major milestones of a company that is that, that are usually tied to funding strategy board, but also product roadmap, hiring key people. And you know, by anticipating, you need also to focus on the key element that would drive your strategy uh, without going after basically multiple projects. And to put things into perspective, everyone speaks about short-term growth, capital efficiency that needs to be improved on a quarterly basis. I think there is one important part is that that anticipation has to be linked to the fact that liquidity events, fundraising, hiring commercial partnerships, new product features usually take up to two years to be live. And for that perspective, when you say anticipating is also preparing the next phase while being drawn into the short term key objectives or key milestones the CEO needs to tackle. The only advice would be to CEOs to use their network of advisors, whether it's a strategic advisor, corporate advisor, or financial advisors, and build that trust with a small number of them. And with that, an advisor becomes a key player of a company's journey. And we've lived there with uh, and, and that experience with several companies to really witness how strong that relationship can bring value to the rest of, of the shareholders, but also for the company. And an advisor brings, in a way, a network of investors, buyers, partners, entrepreneurs, but also a broad experience of having seen various business models and success stories across different geographies. And for that, by making the best use of his or her time, you can have a clear catalyst on board for value creation, but also to federate as much as possible the various views that you can have at multiple stages of your growth with your board, investors, clients, employees, et cetera, et cetera. In Montpellier on June 9th and 10th, to speak about fundraising and MA strategy and meet several founders passionate about SAT.